What's going on guys? Welcome to uh, Young Gun Team of the Year? Yeah, Young Gun Team of the Year pack opening. No, Ultimate Wheel. I'm, I'm all over the place right now. Team of the Year Young Guns Ultimate Wheel episode. The third of the four that you guys are going to be seeing for the Ultimate Wheel. There's a lot of good players out right now. It's really starting to hype up. And in two days from when I'm recording this, it's going to be Offensive Team of the Year. So you guys know we're doing this in advance. I want to make sure I can get this episode to you guys. So let's kick things off right here with the spin. Remember, anything that has a pack value to it translates to Team of the Year. That open 10 packs being all three cards. Open five packs, though, is the largest pack that's out right now. So the extreme pack, 3,000 points, 150,000 coins. We're about to open. So every time I hop on the hut, I'm always surprised with the amount of coins that's in there because I sell a lot of crap. Let's see what the magic value is. 44,961. You guys can kind of see what I go through. Let's check this out. 100 coins. We got the Thunderbirds. I always, I always, I always quick sell all of this stuff. So when we come here to the inbox. We see anything that didn't sell, the Shea Tidar didn't sell. So what I always do, because I can't waste too much time selling stuff on the auction house, so I usually just quick sell whatever doesn't make it, unless it's something crazy like an Evo or a really nice team of the week. So that puts us at 50,000 coins. We then take a look at the collection to see if there's anybody that we've forgotten to sell as time has gone on. It looks like we're doing pretty all right. Everybody here looks like they're on a roster. These guys aren't though. We got Kachuk, Ruby, Zabinijad, Stamkos, Doughty, and we've got a couple, we've got a lot of gold rares down there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna auction these guys off Usually 5,500, we'll just put them for an hour and let people scavenge the auction house for these guys. So if I get really bored at some point, which is probably going to happen once the Stanley Cup Finals are going on and we're looking for something to do in between, I'm probably just going to come back here and quick sell all of these players because that would take for freaking ever to find out their value and sell them accordingly. All right, so right now we got more important things to do. We got a Team of the Year Extreme Pack. It's too bad that we didn't get the open three packs because that would have meant we could have done Team of the Year Tri-Choice Pack which is fire. I just posted something on Twitter like 10 minutes ago. I decided to open one of these up, buy four, keep one for myself, open up, buy, save the four. Save the four for the team of the year, offensive team of the year pack opening that's about to happen in a couple days. Freaking hyped to put a conclusion on that pack opening. It's been bananas. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So here we go, team of the year extreme pack. These things are hit and miss. Like, holy crap, I get the most random results out of this one. Let's pull a team of the year though. Cold collectible, that was nice. That, that's gonna sell for a whole lot. We got Victor Hedman, a bronze collectible. Let's check it out, please. Patty Marlowe, Jamie Ben, another bronze collectible, another bronze collectible, a gold collectible out of nowhere, and that's it. So our best pull out of this entire thing looks like it's gonna be the collectible game because Jamie Ben doesn't sell for what he did back in September. So to kind of update you guys on where the team is at right now, the first line, we got Braden Point, Messier, and Nikita Kucherov, Ice Edition, Johnny Goudreau, Cindy Crosby, and Artemi Panarin are making up the second line. We got pretty much the legends right here, Bobby Hull, Sakic, and Voracek. Then we got on the last line, Speedy, Little Buggers, Matthew Kachuk, Eric Stahl, Movember, Movember. Evolution card and Patty Kane on the fourth line. Defense is looking pretty awesome. Mike Green team of the year, Danny Heatley. We got Niedermeyer and Carlson. Justin Falk, 88, is probably the weakest card we have on the team right now in Ivan Provorov on D. We still got Jonathan Bernier in net. Who needs a contract? Fine, I'm gonna go ahead and give you one right now. So this is the team we're rocking. If you take a look down here at the team synergies, we got locker room leaders done. Silky smooth, done. Thread the needle, done. Close, close, close to concrete wall and three to angry aggressor. So if we can get another team of the year at some point with synergy booster or whatnot, we'll be able to take this team, max out team synergies, and be on our way. So let's show you guys also where we're at on the leaderboard. Scott Niedermeyer is still leading with points. The goals, though, have been overtaken by Nikita Kudrov. I may have missed that, actually, at the end of the last episode. Points-wise, I think Niedermeyer is still holding it down, but Kudrov, I think, had a two-goal game, and that actually makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to be uh, sure to update that one here when I do this episode. The team overall is 33-7. and seven. It's been a while since I updated you guys kind of where we're at in this series because now we are starting Division 4, getting into the top final four divisions. Teams are going to be a lot harder. Let's hit it. Okay, Bud Heavy. Sounds like a nice Friday afternoon. Heavy Buds. He's not playing anymore. And I get a boarding penalty. I swear these people know me that if you don't touch the controller, I'll get more penalties when you're not playing versus when you are. Fox. 
around. Turn on the Jets, Johnny Hockey, let's go. Takes down the inside, throws a net, and nets that one into the top right corner, right past his goalie, Johnny Hockey. Getting the first goal here, late in the second, early in the second, later into the game than I was hoping for. One zip off the draw. Nice push by Crosby. Point over to Kucherov. Oh my gosh, Kucherov gets it again. We get the push face off, throws it for the one-timer. That's the second time we've gotten that goal. That's what I like to see. So nice feed. We got the Lightning guys out there. Point from Kucherov and Sidney Crosby. That's a filthy line right there. But we have now extended our league to two. We are still on the power play. So how about that? Uh, let's take control of this game. Net another one. Go two for two on this five on three. Let's see if we can't do it. It's going to back up, throw to Ovechkin. Get in front of him with Niedemeyer. Holy crap, he's going everywhere, throwing the net. Oh, gosh, Bernier making the save there. It's kind of risky, though. Point, slams on the brakes, throws it up to Kucherov. Kucherov to Crosby. There we go. That's the second power play goal right after another. I love doubling up. Now we've extended our lead to three goals here in a span of about 30 seconds of real gameplay. Ten minutes left to go in the second period. We've got three goals on the board. Let's hope for a couple more and seal this game up. Takes it down point, snaps it. Oh, nice save there by Henrik Lundqvist in the corner. Gets poked, Niedemar, boom, absolutely crushes McKinnon. Crosby misses the puck, come on. Hits McKinnon again. McKinnon's having a bad day. Point's going to get it, dodges the hit here, cuts the inside, throws it backside, and there we go. That's... Is this a quit? 20 to 3, I can see why he would quit. And this kid is out of here. So that is Rage Packed. And now that it's team of the year, we've got a little different way we're going to be doing Rage Quick Packs. Thanks to a nice, friendly user suggestion. So I did a little bit of internal thinking on this one. Normally the Rage Quit bonus is three packs. It's team of the year though, I gotta make an exception for something. We're not gonna do three team of the year packs, but if you think about it, three gold plus packs equals 1,050 points. Two team of the year packs, two of the smallest ones are pretty much that value. So we're gonna open up two team of the year packs. We're actually gonna be saving 50 pucks. Coins, whatever it is, 50 points if we open up two of these guys. Plus, we get the added benefit of possibly pulling a team there. Is it likely? Doubt it. So that's one. We get one more because of the rage quit because we, that was a good game. I don't know. On our part, we were dominating the whole time. But good game to you if you are watching here. Let's go team of the year. The second pack. Let's go. Can we pull a team of the year? I don't think I've seen one of these. I've opened so many of these guys. Just throughout the pack opening that I've been doing on my own account. Devin Dubnik. Joe Pavelski's not a bad card. Matt Niskanen, a bronze collectible. We're gonna throw it on the auction house and let's get to the next spin of the wheel. All right guys, so it's about that time of the episode for the second spin. We've gotten to open three Team of the Year packs. Two thank you to the Rage Quit, one to the first spin of this wheel. Let's open three more right now. This guy right here. If we could get open 10 packs, that would be insane. That thing <laughs> screeched in my ear. I don't know if you heard that, but let's see what this one ends up being. That is Tile of the Month. I don't know what a Tile of the Month is right now. Because I don't think we've had many suggestions for Tile of the Month. Maybe I'm going to hit up Twitter right now, ask what the Tile of the Month should be, and then we'll go from there. All right, so before we start this next game, I'm going to tell you guys what the Tile of the Month suggestion was. A guy on Twitter helped me out at the Habs 92 said, you should incorporate the puck drop board into it. So pretty much how the puck drop board works is for every goal we score in hut, we get a reward from it. We drop a puck, it point goes down the board, bam, that's how you have it. We get rewards from that. We're going to see how many goals we can score in this next game. Whether we win or lose, we get results. So that's what's going to be a crossover episode. Let's get into the second game. Game number two, Canuckabus. Canuckabus? Can word place, man. Can you people just have normal names, please? Brain points taken around the outside. He's flying down. We're going to take it up. Mike Green passes to Kucherov. Kucherov gets the first. What is he doing on defense? Kucherov just loves scoring goals, loves netting those beauties out there. But Kucherov from way downtown releases his clap bomb from the point and finds the corner. I like it right here. So we're up one zip here late in the first period. Let's try and get a second one. I need more time to switch lines in between these things. Check it out. Falk. Gets the poke check. Come on, stay aggressive on him. Hedman's going to wind up. Oh, my gosh. How far was Bernier going to come out of net? He was almost to the top of the circle by the time he got there, and he looks like he was not even close to stopping that one. Nice draw into the corner. Provorov walks it. He's going to let me walk it. Claps it. Oh, my gosh. What an absolute bomb from Provorov. He let me walk right in. I decided to rip it. I didn't think that was going to go. I thought there was too much traffic. 
in front of the net. Caught me by surprise when I saw it go into the back of the twine, but that is back in the lead. We got the two to one advantage. We're rolling. Get the push here. Nice push here. Rip it top. That was a backhand. Bobby Hull or Brett Hull. I can't remember which one it is. We got the no bucket hole. He hit a backhand on that. That shocked me right there. I was expecting a forehand short side cheese. That was a backhand. I think that's the first backhand snipe we've scored all season. Yes, yeah, nice dodge right here. Throws it back over to Kutrov. Kutrov walks it, snipes. Oh, that was filthy. Are we getting a second rage quit? <laughs> this puppy is out of here. That is the second rage quit of the episode. 13 to eight. Holy crap. Since this is also the puck drop reward, you guys are in for a treat to see how we do rage quits now. All right, for any of you ultimate wheel purists out there, forgive me for a second while I blow your mind. This is the puck drop board. We have four pucks right here. Now, as I said before, you guys are in for a treat because not only are we getting the new prizes on here, but we got a rage quit. What that means is that whatever we get here upgrades itself to the next slot over. So a bronze or silver becomes a gold pack. A gold pack becomes a gold plus pack. Gold plus pack becomes a special pack. And a special pack is two special packs. And for the special packs, we always start in the middle. It's always the medium pack, then the small pack, then the large pack. For whatever set is out right now in gold plus packs, we've decided for team of the year season are upgraded to special packs. I very well may go broke after this episode. This is insane. So what we're gonna do is we always can choose how many pucks we want to drop. If we land in here in these Batman spaces, that's nothing. So, all right, let's check out the first pack. That's I'm just gonna start it off nice and simple. So this is regularly a gold pack, but it's gonna upgrade itself to a gold plus pack. But since again, we said we're doing gold plus packs, our team of the year packs now, that is a small team of the year special pack. All right, so now what we're gonna do with the remaining three pucks is drop them all at the same time by a method we call the shotgun because it usually just blasts all our hopes and dreams to pieces. There's a time where I've gotten like two bankrupts and a bronze. It's been very unfortunate, but you know what? We're gonna risk it for the biscuit. This is team of the year after all. There's a special pack already and let's see. So that is going to be a gold pack. It normally is, you know, bronze or silver. We're upgrading to a gold pack and that is a gold pack that upgrades to a gold plus pack, which means a special pack. So. Coming out of here, we get a gold pack, we get two of the small team of the year packs, and then this guy right here is the middle team of the year pack and the small team of the year. So, a gold pack, three small team of the year packs and the medium pack. Holy crap! All right, so to save me some time between running back and forth throughout my desk, setting the camera up, we're just gonna go ahead and spin the wheel one more time, because we have to do it after we would have opened up the rewards for the second game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start this guy off right here. This is the final spin for Team of the Year Young Gun Edition. We already got five packs open. Can we add to that with whatever we're about to get? Any base player, so we've decided that any base player is regular, ice, or ruby card. So that'll be really, really nice. We can get somebody, maybe we can finally replace Justin Paul. That would be phenomenal. So after we open up all the players in these Team of the Year packs, we're gonna see if we can't pick anybody else up. That's gonna help the team. All right, this is just because, oh, we got a nice, so we're up to 77,000, which is nice after all these players are starting to sell. We have to open up this gold pack. Can't really do anything about it. Can't upgrade it to a team of the year. That would just be ridiculous. So we're just gonna quickly go ahead, spend these 200 pucks. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to afford all these packs we're about to open. Who is the one gold rare player in this pack? Jeff Skinner. He already has a team of the year card out, but I think it was a past one. Community team of the year, maybe? I always forget to move the microphone closer to me. So we got three of these team of the year packs and then because it's the same amount, team of the year try choice pack and there we go. So we got three of these guys to open real quick. We're gonna go ahead and blast through them all. Check it out. Can we get a team of the year in these packs? Not so far. Daniel Sedin and his brother also announced today that he is going to be retiring from the NHL after 17 years. So shout out to Daniel for him and his brother having a remarkable season and remarkable careers in the NHL. Two more of these team of the year packs. These things are like the most pointless packs that I've ever seen on the market. Matt Murray is decent, but I've never seen a team of the year been pulled in these guys. All right, this is the last small pack we're gonna encounter this episode, unless we get a rage quit after the next game. This is a very expensive episode I'm starting to learn. Anything involving the puck drop board is a very expensive episode. Jeff Skinner, again, the second time we've got him. Mark Stone, Ryan Strom, David Krejci. No team of the years. We got one more pack that might help us out. 
All right, team of the year, try choice pack. 1,500 pucks for 75,000 coins. Whoa, we have over 159,000 coins all of a sudden? What the heck happened? I think it maybe it might have been my collectibles selling. That's a lot of change right there. We could buy the pretty much the best Ruby card that's out right now. Well, sorry, we're looking at the first of the three rounds of the choice pack. We are going to pick Varlamov, why not? Ryan Strom, they look like pretty good options. Nothing fancy so far. The second round, here we come with the second round. Let's go, Dave Rowensky, Zach Rowensky, I said Dave Rowensky. <laughs> Alexander Barkov, Eric Carlson. So we're gonna hang on to him and Barkov. Let's go with the final round, the best round of the choice pack. Please don't disappoint me. In front of all my friends here that are watching, this is terrible. Oh my gosh, Ryan Johansson, Evolution, and Shea Weber. I guess we're gonna keep these guys. We're not gonna use them on the team though. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna hold on to this guy because I have a feeling that come playoff time, he's gonna get a fair amount of upgrades. Okay, I am very curious as to know how we just randomly sprouted 100,000 coins. That was pretty bananas. Ended auctions. The answer has to lie somewhere in here. Holy crap, this thing sold for 63,150 coins. I had no idea they were worth that much, but I'm glad we put it up there. I think I started at start price 10,000. Somebody bought it. I, I'm glad it was worth that much because now we have a killing. I just hope we don't get bankrupt to start out the offensive team of the year, Ultimate Wheel. All right, so there is an absolute monster of a card that we do not have on this team. And I feel like every team does need it. It's Ruby Brent Burns, and I don't know if these are decent prices for Ruby Brent Burns, but I don't have 37 minutes to wait to bid on this guy to save 10,000 coins. So we're just gonna buy this one, 110,000. You know, if it's way overpriced, we pulled a gold collectible for team of the year. We're not even gonna be able to use it. So it's just like we're breaking even. So I'm not gonna fret if this is insanely overpaying because now we have a 96 Ruby Brent Burns. He's gonna be replacing Justin Falk. So this is a huge upgrade on the team. Eight entire overall points. The upgrade in this position is insane. Brent Burns Ruby card is gonna be coming in and oh my gosh, I cannot wait for this next game. Gorillas, finally, a name that's easy to pronounce and it's not gonna kill me. Thanks for having me. Oh my gosh. Hello darkness, my old friend. What did I do? Slow plays it, slow plays it, finds it. Over to Messier, misses the net point. Gathers it in the corner, throws it to the point. Niedermeyer to Carlson, Chuck it's blocked in front. Who has the puck? Come up with it, Kucherov. Slow plays it, tries to throw it on net, it goes wide, Kucherov. Around behind the net, takes it up to Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer back to Kucherov. Kucherov shrugs off the hit, throws it back to Niedermeyer. Walks it in, all oh, brain point, sends it wide. Messier gets the puck again, pinned behind the boards. We're gonna kick it over Kucherov. Kudrov's gonna walk in front to Point, who puts it in the back door. Holy cow, we were swarming out there. Braden Point finally gets free of his coverage and puts in the one-timer right in front. We deserve that one. Finally tie this game up in the first period. We're back to an even game. Backs it up, Provorov, boom, big hit. Oh, he still catches the puck. What is this? Oh, that burns. Burns let the puck go right underneath his stick to the open man in front. Maybe that was, I think that was Victor Arvidsson. Le left him completely alone. Didn't even pick up the pocket. Skated right in front of him. Now he's back in front. Peter throws it all the way up to Panarin. Surprised it got through all those sticks. Throws it back to Crosby. Crosby for the one-timer. Okay, I think we're even now. <laughs> that was a bad roll. With 2.8 seconds left to go. Holy cow. That's bad luck. So I guess we're even on the terrible rolls that this game has given us. Going into the second period, it should be a goose egg match. The push here, I like it. Panarin throws it over, it gets saved by Luongo. Going into the corner, keeping this pressure. Monahan gets a nice stick block. Who was that? By Johnny Hockey. Messier throws it back to Burns. Burns walks around slowly. Niedemeyer, nice blocker saved there by Luongo. In the corner, still have the puck. Throws it up to Burns once again. Walks in, Burns claps it. Gets, are you kidding me, Messier? Get out of the way of Burns' shot. Who steps in front of a Burns shot, really? In front, Niedemeyer takes the puck out of the zone, throws it way up top to Goudreau. Goudreau's sitting in all alone, throws it back door to Burns, who's coming down. He was flying. Burns was the second man into the zone off of a late line change, and he's right there to one-timer that one back door, put us up by one goal halfway through the game. Burns, holy cow, coming in with that offensive presence. Goes way the heck up there. Burns out of nowhere. Wild Burns appeared. Cuts inside. Oh, he's got Jets. He's in. Fake them out. Oh, second goal of the night for our newly added Ruby 
That Wookiee can fly. Trap behind it. Don't you lag out on me now. Are you kidding me? Mike Green takes it, rips it. Oh, that went in? Dude, weak wrister from the point makes this one 5-2 to two here. And he just called a timeout. And so on the ensuing play, Mike Green puts a softy from the blue line all the way. Finds the back of the net. That's the fifth goal. Is it going to be the last goal? Can we try and get six in this game? I would say it's a good possibility. The guys are gelling. Kucherov, come on, rip it one more in. Braden Point's probably not going to make it there. He dives, so we are not going to make the sixth goal, unfortunately. But we did manage to get the episode at 3-0. A perfect episode. Opened up a lot of packs. It was a good day. We got a lot of great players. At Ruby Brett Burns, two goals in his premiere with the Ultimate Wheel team. 3-0 in Division 4. Killing it right now. And you may ask how he got 30 shots with three minutes of time and attack. When you walk inside the blue line and backhand it in front of the net, I guess he was the epitome of get pucks deep, get pucks to the net. Because he did that, he just didn't put many in the back of the net. But Brett Burns obviously getting the first star of the game. Jonathan Bernier, second star. Mark Messier getting two points on this game. The guys are playing phenomenally well right now. Can't really think of anything else to say except we'll see you at the outro. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of the Ultimate Wheel. This was Young Gun Team of the Year. It was a pretty flawless episode. We got to see the puck drop, which was awesome to see as the tile of the month for April because it is April 2nd as I am filming this right now. It was a perfect episode, except we couldn't pull a Team of the Year card. It just goes to show you how difficult it is to get those guys in packs. We've opened a lot of packs so far. Haven't yet pulled a Team of the Year in one, at least one that we want to keep like a 99 or something. That'd be insane if we could get that in 99 Stamkos. If we could pull a 99 Stamkos or a 99 Kucherov at Team of the Year, that would be insane. But that's going to have to happen next week. So thank you guys for watching this episode. It was a clean sweep. 3-0 on the episode. Got two Rage Quits, which was unheard of right now when we're going into Division 4. Clean shop the whole way through. But thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. This is Pack Dad. I'm out.